Okay, so we will configure this tran transmitter according to our uh, requirements. So let's say this transmit this uh, transmitter we will gonna use in uh, filter that will monitor the differential pressure across the filter. So let's say uh, the calibration range is zero to twenty millibar. All right. So since uh, the default unit is in inches h to o, so and the upper range and lower range is in default values, so we could change that one. So we'll go back to the main menu. We will go configure. So we'll use the, to navigate it. We'll use the scroll or up or down scroll, or we could also use directly to the number since it is in number two. We could put, uh, press number two directly. So it will uh, it will lead us to two options: guided setup and manual setup. So let us go to the guided setup, basic setup. And uh, if we, uh, we will put tag, okay? So we could use the stick to uh, press this case here, or we could use also the um, case here, the keypad, okay? So for me, I prefer to use the keypad. So let's say this is one, one B or one C, something like that. Any, any, uh, depending on your tags so you can see uh, one C uh, flow one C uh, DP DP zero zero one or zero one say like that yeah in there okay so you see that there is a asterisk uh, symbol that means it is not changed yet so if we, if we want to uh, download that uh, configuration to the transmitter you will press it send but since we have to uh, change the multiple parameters so we will change the other uh, parameter let's say pressure units because the, the default is in in chase it in chase it's to o so we're gonna change it to millibar okay. so we'll select millibar yeah here then enter so okay yeah so we can see that there is asterisk and we can change the dumping or leave it the dumping uh, default value we can change also the dumping it depends if you want because dumping is just like a filter so it, it will uh, filter the you know the, the, the fluctuation the, depending on the frequency of the fluctuation okay so appearance value We'll so LRV lower range value we're gonna change it to um, zero all right and then you uh, appearance value we're gonna change it to 20 all right so we'll send it to the transmitter system send so okay warning look okay press okay and then now we'll go back to the main menu everything is changed i think that i think the tag also has changed the tag is this one so we could see it on the overview we'll go back to main main menu okay we'll go overview so it has changed it should be now now so the lower range value is changed to zero and upper range 20 and the pressure is 0 0.3 millibar analog output is 4.22 okay so we confirm it in the uh, meter also okay so later on we'll have to because we, uh, it is expected to be four because this is four to 20 uh, signal standard yeah so it is expected uh, four milliamp but anyway Later on, we will uh, change it. How, uh, I will show you how to uh, the, the trimming, how to trim a signal, the sensor trim and the output trim. All right. So, for this video, we'll just uh, uh, show the uh, how to configure the new transmitter according to our uh, requirement calibration range. So, if we want to uh, put this. Uh, 
uh, transmitter into the factory set so we could set it to factory so so we will go back to the main menu go to service tools and go to maintenance then go to recall factory calibration so it will go back to the uh, default values okay so we can uh, then okay so uh, sensor sensor trim okay so sensor trim uh, if, if we have done sensor trimming or we have done analog output trimming it will go back to the default settings all right same there so restoration of trim values complete okay yeah so that's it